Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today we're doing something a little different. We're gonna do an unboxing video of some parts that I had made. Mark Parnell at Renegade Cycle Carts in Oklahoma made these for me. This is our front axle and spindles. And uh, I met Mark at Huntsville this past summer and he built a really cool cart. We got to talking about uh, cycle cart parts and availability of spindles that actually have proper geometry. And I had done this on my cart and on my dad's Duesenberg where we've got kingpin inclination, Ackerman, and proper uh, caster and camber built into it, not just using a go-kart that's everything straight up and down and square. So it's got proper alignment. So I told him I'd do an unboxing video and to thank him for making this uh, part for me. Uh, he's built a jig, so this is re repeatable. So uh, let's go ahead and open this box up, see what we got. Spindles, and there's two sets in here a 5 8 set and a 3 quarter set. Yeah, so that's a 3 quarter. And it's even got a little spacer in there. And Mark's done a nice job. He's, uh, hope you can hear me over this. He makes aircraft parts and machine stuff for aircraft industry, so he knows what he's doing. Those are both 3 quarter inch. Nicely TIG welded in a jig, so it's perfect every time. And these are the, okay, these are the 5 8 ones. So these are the ones that come with the Azusa style. So this one's got the Azusa, but those are already welded on. So this one's for another guy. I'm going to drop them off to uh, Dennis Thomas next week, I guess. So get these all unpackaged here. These look great. He did a nice job welding these. So he's using cap screws instead of bolts. So there's the other five base one. And I think these are my axle plates. Yeah, they are awesome. Okay, so these were the outside of the, uh, the wheels. So we've got the Honda wheels. So these are gonna be reinforcements for mounting my wheels up. So let's get this axle on package. I wanna see what this looks like. The UPS is going to destroy this, but they did a good job packaging it. <laughs> All right, now we're getting down to business. We got more cut. Hang on a second. Lots of bubble wrap. paper around the bottom here and I think he did something extra special on this for me yeah look at that got his logo right there renegade so that's pretty cool so this already has the king, kingpin inclination welded onto the to the drop axle so this is my drop axle design that I copied from Dennis Thomas give full disclosure so this is a Basically, Psycho Carters copied whatever works for other people, and Dennis Thomas probably copied it off somebody else. So, this drop axle layout is pretty standard among Psycho Carters. This is the Azusa style spindle attachment. This is where we all started off using these Azusa style spindles, uh, go kart spindles. But these have 14 degrees of kingpin inclination, which means it's tilted back 14 degrees. So, this mimics what I did on my Model T and my dad's Duesenberg, and it should work out great. So, 
let's put these spindles on there and see what that looks like. So as we started to take this apart, and I realized he did something that was really trick, which I didn't realize. So we got the broad, uh, I think they call it oil light bushings, top and bottom. And then he put a sleeve in here uh, on the bolt. Or maybe he made this bolt, I'm not sure. But it's got a sleeve on it, so there's no threads inside your oil light bushings. The ones I've got on my other one, I'm just using bolts from the hardware store. And you put this in there, instead of your bolt running on this or in, inside the oil light bushings, it's actually got a sleeve. So, there's almost no play in that at all. That is cool. Um, so let's see if we're putting this in the right direction. I'll run that on the bottom. Yeah, that's cool. So, I think I just installed them. Let's see which way, way does it go. Well, for right now, it doesn't matter too much. But, um, so if you can really see in the camera there how much angle is here. So the idea is for this kingpin, if you draw an imaginary line all the way to the ground where the tire contacts, there's an imaginary line going all the way down. And that helps with your scrub radius. A couple other things we did. He's got the uh, pitman arms. He's got two attachment points. One is for Ackerman. So if you put your, your uh, tie rod bolt on this outer one, then it counts for Ackerman. helps your steering angle as well. And if you don't want to, I guess you could always uh, quicken your steering ratio by putting it on this one here. Or if you want a shorter, faster ratio, you move it down, down the arm. Um, this is exactly the way mine is built. It's beautifully welded. Look at these TIG welds. Uh, using really high grade bolts. This is not just a grade eight bolt. It's probably a, I don't know if it's stamped on there or not. But it's a cap head bolt instead of a standard bolt. And this little bushing here, it goes there so that when you put your wheel on, your wheel is running. It actually probably goes on this side. So your wheel stays off the threads. At any rate, this thing is kick-ass. He did a great job with this cap head screw on top or bolt and nut. This is awesome. Uh, and the same ones, the 5 8 orientation. So if you order just the spindles from him with the KPI and you're going to weld your own, this is what you would get. Uh, so this has already got the kingpin inclination built into this thing. So you just have to put it on there so that this, this is parallel. Let's see if I go parallel with it, you'll see there's an angle here, right? So, and here you can set if you want your wheels to angle in or out at the top or bottom by adjusting where you, how you install that. So that's really quality. Really, really well done. Nice job, Mark. Um, and here's what the, here's the car that's gonna go on. This is a 1932 Aston Martin. We'll see if this fits. So this is supposed to go on the outside of your wheels here. Yeah, that's a nice, this, this wheel's boogered up. The guy that I got this from used these big giant bolts, so I'm gonna have to redo that, but that fits right in there. And that's gonna reinforce your webbing when this goes inside, it sits right on top of these aluminum bits here. And so your, all the weight is being carried by this plate and spread across the entire surface instead of inside this little thin webbing, which is really thin aluminum in here. The guy that built this originally, uh, the Azusa part that this works with, I'll just show you that. Um, like I said, the guy that did this used bolts that are way too big for the application. So I'll probably have to order a new set of Azusa hubs. Um, or try to weld these up. Let me just unscrew these real quick. I'll show you how this Azusa thing works. It's been a while since I've dealt with the Azusa part. But um, essentially, this is a go-kart part. It comes to you without these holes. See, those aren't even square. So, yeah, I'm not going to use these. But you take these bolts and you grind them down to where they fit inside the Honda wheel. And then this creates, when you use the proper bolts, when you put this on the outside of the wheel, your four bolts will go all the way through the wheel, through these two plates, and that gives you all the strength you need. Like I said, these are way too big. You can see these bolts are... I don't know if the guy was thinking, a 5 16 bolt would probably work fine. Is that what this is? Yeah, 5 16 I think this is probably a 3 quarter inch or close to a 5 eighths maybe. It's really big. So, and you see his, his holes aren't there. And the Honda wheel has holes already in it. See that little hole right there? So that's the original hole. He drilled out the original hole there, and the original hole there and there. So yeah, I'm gonna have to use a different set of wheels. These are these are okay for backup, but I'm not gonna use these for <laughs> for the new for the new build. So at any rate, I hadn't had those off the shelf in a long time, but now I know. So these are cool. They have the Renegade logo on them, which Mark did a great job on that. So if you want these parts, uh, Renegade Cycle Carts on Facebook. I think Mark might have a website as well. I think it's set right on the front of the box here. 
Um, so if you look at coming on this right here, this is the name of his machine shop. He's in Oklahoma. And his contact information. I'll put some information too to how to get a hold of Mark on the uh, in the description line at the bottom of the page. But that's it for the unboxing video. Hope that was educational and helpful. And if you want a uh, cycle cart that handles well and is engineered right, this, this axle is a good investment. Or at the very least, the spindles that you add to your own axle. It'll really help. If you already got a completed cycle cart and you don't want to redo really everything, you can just cut off your existing ones and change the angle when you weld this on to get that proper kingpin inclination. It's uh, oops, got it upside down. It's really worth the effort. So uh, thanks guys for watching, and we'll have some more videos pretty soon on the Aston Martin, which is on the shelf behind me. The frames back here. We got a little bit more work to do on that. We'll have that on the road pretty soon. So thanks for watching, you guys. Have a great day.